In this lesson, we'll discuss the new optimizations we've introduced in the Settings tab in V-Ray Next for Rhino. The Render Settings user interface has been refined and updated to make the render setup workflow easier than ever. You can also now manipulate the quick and advanced camera parameters at the same time, as well as specify custom pixel resolutions without needing to know the aspect ratio in advance. To get started, let's first open up the Asset Editor and expand the camera rollout. Here, you will find the exposure value and the new compensation slider, as well as the white balance parameter and two new auto buttons. The compensation slider and the auto options will be covered in another lesson. For now, let's do a render and see how the scene looks at the moment. You'll see that the image appears too dark. To fix this, we can simply adjust the exposure value slider. Higher values will make the image darker, while lower values will make it brighter. This is a very easy and quick way to adjust the exposure of the camera, but if you want to have more advanced control, you can adjust the more granular camera parameters. These are now located in the right-hand flyout panel under the Advanced Camera Parameter Settings. Here, you can separately adjust the F number, ISO, and shutter speed using values just like you would with a real-world camera. You'll also see that changing the Advanced Camera Parameters will affect the Exposure Value setting and vice versa. Okay, I'm liking how the render result looks, so now let's take a look at the render output settings. In the render output dropdown, you'll be able to set a custom resolution for your image. Let's first switch the aspect ratio to custom. In V-Ray Next, you do not need to know what aspect ratio to use in advance. Instead, you can freely set the width and height independently, and the aspect ratio will adjust accordingly. To do so, simply click on the chain icon to unlock the aspect ratio and then you can set the image width and height to your preference. If you want to keep the new ratio, just click on the chain icon again to lock it. Now you've seen how the streamlined camera and render output settings make it easier to work quickly and get great looking results with no hassle. 